Okay, so now we're gonna drill them holes out. Lost my cap. Okay guys, so uh, we pretty much got all the guts inside the barrel. We got all our holes drilled. We assembled most of the components. There's one other option that you can put on here and these are side handles. Um, you can, you'll see a lot of builds will have them like this. Some of them will have them flipped up around the other way. It doesn't really matter which way you go. Most of the guys face them down because that's the way the etch is on the handle if they want it to show. Um, so anyway, the best way to do that, you want to put this left and right of your thermometer. So your, your bolt holes, you can use the template to mark this, or if you don't have the template, I want to show you another little trick. First thing you're going to do is you got to find the center of this handle, right? So that's easy. I already made a mark here, right here at the center. Just measure outside to outside and whatever half of that is, it's going to be approximately like three and three sixteenths. You'll make a mark right here. Boom, like that, right? So if you watch me, I eyeball this, right? I'll just kind of look at my grate and I'll eyeball it with my grate mount. But if you want to get all technical and stuff and lay this out properly, your bar if you use our barrels, you do the circumference and divide by four. So ours is 17 and three quarters is what that is. So we've still got our handy dandy center mark right here. And we're gonna mark all the way around and find the center of where this handle goes. So to do that, I like to use a piece of string. Um, if you ever see a sewing tape measure, or whatever, but I take this piece of string, something flexible, and I cut this off at exactly 17 and three quarters. So I'm gonna line that up with the center mark here on the front of the barrel, right there. And I'm just going to bring that around and that gives, I can hold that with my thumb and I can make a mark right where the end of that line is. Okay, so now I know where my center line is for the handle on this side anyway. And then you can just line this up. Now for placement height wise, it's completely up to you. I've seen guys put them way down here. I've seen guys touch them up at the top. The only thing to keep in mind is that whatever you use for nuts and bolts, we send quarter 20 nuts and bolts with these handles. If you put those through there, this part of the lid could hit. So I recommend that you drop these down at least an inch uh, from, to the, from the top of the bracket to the bottom of this rim. So we can just measure that real quick. So on these handles, 
uh, it's a little bit easier to go ahead and get all your holes drilled and everything first before you assemble all of this. Now, if you were going to paint, you would want to have this, if you were going to paint your whole barrel, you'd want to have this painted before you assemble this. Once you put these caps on the end of these rods, they don't come off. They're, it's a done deal. You have to get more rods and more caps. Um, so anyway, these handles are, uh, the handle brackets are plain steel, so you need to paint them. These springs and these rods are stainless and these caps are like a plated steel. So uh, the only thing you really need to paint is this. So you put the rod and the handle together like this, and then the rod penetrates through both sides of the handle bracket like this. And then you're gonna take this hand, this cap, and if you're doing this with it painted, be careful, like you might wanna put a piece of, some kind of uh, you know cardboard or something down, something that'll keep your handle from getting scratched. But you put this, you're just gonna center this right over the top of that and then we're gonna hit the end of this rod with the hammer and press that on. Try to get my hand out of the way where you can see. Just like that. Now we're gonna flip it over and do the other side. Just like that and then you can pull this spring open. And then we're going to put on our thermometer. The one we send you is a three inch dial. It's got a four inch long stem and it's got this pipe thread on it. The back side of the thermometer has this nut on there for calibration. Um, we recommend that you don't calibrate this in boiling water. We recommend that you cal if you do any adjustment to this for, for calibration, we recommend that you use an electronic thermometer on the cooking grate and adjust this to be even with what that says. That way you get a more accurate reading on what the actual temperature in your cooker is. It comes with this washer and this nut. The washer is best used on the outside, just kind of a beauty ring. And then this nut, you tighten it down on the inside. So I slide that on there like that. There you go. And you can tighten that nut down if you want. We got our cooking grate that goes in. This is the slotted cooking grate I was talking about. Just like that. Okay, so our damper blades are all the same. They interchange between here and the smokestack, so it doesn't matter which one goes where. You just stick those on there. We send a different, we send a different uh, nut with these. These are a nylon insert. When you open up your bag of nuts, find these first so you don't lose them. But you just put your bolt in the, in the blade and then just set that on there. Now this, we use this nylon nut because as you're driving down the road hauling this in the back of the truck, the other nuts will back off of there and your blade goes blowing off. So this prevents those from falling off. That is it. That's it? That's it.